So today, after work, I braved the weekend crowds and I went to the post office where I picked up this delivery of a vinyl record I bought from Discogs. And the reason I bought it there is I wanted an 80s version of this album because all of my albums of this group are from back then and it's Van Halen. For some reason I never bought Fair Warning on vinyl back in the day. I had it on cassette, which I think annoyed me even then. Uh, recently I brought all my Van Halen albums back up to Norway from storage uh, in Denmark where I used to live once for a while and it just so happens that I have all the David Lee Roth and the first Sammy Hager on vinyl except this one and just after that uh, Eddie Van Halen died which is kind of weird or eerie I suppose so, uh, now I finally can listen to all the first Van Halen albums on vinyl in succession and it makes me really happy. Also, uh, the record looks about as described from the seller, no better, no worse than the records I already have that I bought myself back in the 80s. The next thing that I picked up was from Amazon. Uh, I'm very excited about this because this is the deluxe edition of Tears for Fears. Sowing the seeds, or the seeds of love rather. Um, I got the previous two, there they are, The Hurting and Songs from the Big Chair. Um, I don't know how many years it took before this one came out um, as a deluxe follow-up. Oh, six, seven years. I know Super Deluxe Edition, uh, the website and the guy there has been really involved in getting this, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be amazing. Uh, it's one of my absolute favorite albums from the 1980s. It's... It's the... I don't know... The Sgt. Pepper of the 80s, in a way. In just richness and uh, song tune, tunes and... Tunesmith, or whatever you call it. I just love this. So, looking really forward. Uh, then I went to my local vinyl shop today because I just wanted to get a little bit of an idea of what comes out tomorrow for record store drop day number three. Um, I really wanted one album and as it turns out they're not going to get it anyway. I thought it was a really common one. Uh, so I went to the garden. And the guy told me that, yes, record store, but they are going to do the same as they do over at Big Dipper. And they are not going to have physical sales. You have to order online and then either get it shipped or maybe pick up uh, in, in the store. Um, so that saved me the trip, uh, but it did uh, force my arm haha, to get this one. And... Uh, Unfortunately, it's the uh, wrong side of it. I'm not going to open this now, but it's the 40th anniversary. Crystal clear picture disc vinyl edition of Iron Maiden's debut album from 1980. And uh, as you can see, I'm a pretty big Iron Maiden fan. So I do, do I need this? Of course, I do need anything, but it's I love collecting music, and uh, and uh, Iron Maiden's been such a big part of my life. So uh, I'm guessing this will be for display only. I, I already have like three or four versions of this album in CD, vinyl form, 
1980s vinyl form. So, yeah, there we, you know, there we got them all. Prowler, Remember Tomorrow, Running Free, Phantom of the Opera, Transylvania, Strange World, Charlotte the Harlot, and Iron Maiden, and the only album uh, with uh, Dennis Stratton on guitar. He was replaced by my hero, Adrian Smith, for the following album. So there you have it. Money spent once again. Have a nice weekend.